Hi everyone, I am back today with my May Design Team project for the Graphics Fairy. Uh, and this month I have created uh, this little botanical journal. Um, I get so inspired just kind of scrolling through the various bundles that you can find on the premium membership site. And there are so many different florals and birds and butterflies just throughout a variety of the bundles that this is this project has been on my mind uh, for a little while now. So when um, the Emma bundle came out, I realized that this book cover printable was going to be perfect for this project. So that's what I've used for this cover. I created a chipboard um, base and then I have just used um, the Emma uh, book cover um, over top and it is it's gorgeous it's you can see all the aging on it and in fact the name of this book is I can't read this but this does say garden botany so um, it really is perfect for this project um, and then because it was a little bit of gold here I uh, edged everything um, with a little bit of um, antique gold rub and buff now I have used a little bit of um, jute twine here to close the book uh, although it does sit fairly flat and so it doesn't really need this closure I just thought it it went kind of nicely with with the theme um, of the book um, so you will see in the blog post a list of all of the bundles that I've used and I've used a lot <laughs> through this through this journal um, but as I say there are just so many that you can choose from uh, and you'll have just a fabulous project if you do that. So this uh, has ended up being kind of a little bit grungy, but kind of a shabby kind of botanical um, journal with lots of florals uh, and um, lots of fun tabs in this one. So let me show you what I've done here. Uh, on the inside, I've just used a little bit of kind of pretty floral paper that I happen to have on the front and back covers. And then throughout, I've used some vintage papers, I've used coffee dyed papers, uh, and I've used just some kind of um, aged looking uh, printable lined paper throughout. A uh, little bit of washi tape here, uh, and I've used throughout, you'll see um, some of the um, aged cellophane tape um, that I like to use. Uh, and then just um, little bits of um, scraps of lace and buttons. Um, I've used one of the Edith Holden book pages here as a pocket. I've got a little definition down here of nature, a little bit of um, coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth, and again more tape. Um, this is one of the printables um, and this is a journaling card, um, but I've just used a die cut, um, a tag die cut to uh, to shape this and just add a little bit of trim here. And then this is just a vintage tag. And a little bit of stamping um, throughout. So as I always do, I like to leave lots of space um, for journaling and uh, pictures. Um, and I, I thought that this would be a great journal actually to kind of watch the seasons uh, in your garden and kind of record maybe plants and so on um, that did well or didn't do well, things that you want to continue. So I thought this kind of... Um, a vintage record um, paper was great for that um, and then I've just added a little tab there and this is the center of the signature so I've left it to fold out completely so there's lots of space there and then I've just done a little side pocket some vintage trim and in the pocket I have uh, just made a little tag from some Edith Holden um, book pages and a little tag that I've cut from the the uh, inside cover and just added a little bit of trim there and I've just stamped using one of my favorite note stamps and then this is a printable so uh, I think this was from Victorian Roses that bundle there's all kinds of beautiful florals and I've just cut them out and I've um, inserted them uh, just for little journaling spots where you could adhere it um, for a little tuck spot and then the other thing that I've done throughout is made these oh, I really love these tabs um, these tabs let me show you I cut them 
um, with a die with a die so this is the actual shape I don't know if can you see that you can see how it's scalloped and this I just um, cut from an extra piece of the cover that I had and actually I love how this looks so I'm gonna have to find a spot for this in this journal um, but what I did I cut the uh, the tab uh, or the die cut I folded it in half to make a tab and then before I glued it down I put a layer of cheesecloth so that it kind of stuck out all around and then I glued it to the page and then over top of that um, I've just added um, a little bit of um, a floral image here and then I've added some of that uh, aged cellophane tape so that's how I did the tabs and then again more stamping here um, this is a printable from the old paper printables bundle uh, and then I've added some stamping and then another fun image um, from one of the bundles uh, and then here I've added so these are more printables from the um, Victorian florals bundle and then I've just die cut the image and I've added a couple of little rub-ons there and I thought these would make some great um, some great journaling spots so I just added those in here and um, a little bit more tape up there more stamping and here I have um, one of the beautiful um, bird journaling cards uh, in one of the bundles um, I think it's called Catherine Klein Birds is the bundle and there's some other just beautiful postcards uh, and then these are a couple of images floral images botanical floral images I've just um, attached them together here and added a little bit of uh, twine so another couple of journaling spots there and lots of trims throughout um, and I've forgotten now which bundle this is from, but that is also listed. So not only are there individual um, pieces that you can cut out and, and journaling cards, but some of the bundles also include um, journaling pages. And that's what this is. And I've just printed it and then cut it into pockets here, added more of my tape. Um, and then in the pockets here, uh, again, more, more journaling cards from, from one of the bundles. This is, I've used this before in, in a project. This is uh, one of the seed envelopes um, that you can find. And then this is just an embossed craft paper. Uh, and I just thought that um, that went, went with the whole theme of the book. And on this side, um, this is another printable uh, from the, I think it's the Vintage Postcards printable. I just kind of love that greeny turquoise color and then this is a vintage calling card um, and I thought that was so pretty with all those florals just to to add in as well so just more stamping here's another of those tabs that I've done um, I just I just love the way those have turned out uh, on this side I had this really Kind of deep piece of lace so I've I've made it into a pocket and here I have uh, a little glassine envelope that I've coffee dyed and then I've just layered some craft paper and some sheer fabric and then this rose die cut and then inside I have a few things that you could add to this journal so these are from um, the Vibrant Birds bundle, which is a new bundle that was out. Um, and I thought they would be great added in, or you could use them as little journaling spots as well. And there's another flower from that um, Victorian Roses bundle um, to use as well. And these are just some vintage papers that I have. Um, one of the beautiful um, postcards in uh, one of the bundles as well. I think that's Blissful Blossoms. Um, and then here I have pinned on, so you'll you'll have seen any of the paper clips and so on, and pins are these rusted um, clips. And then here I have attached a few of the bird and floral stamps. So let me show you what those look like. Um, this is, from, I think this is from the 
Mm, this is the Catherine Klein um, Birds um, set, and they are actually uh, stamps. Uh, and so this is printed at 100%. So you can see how beautiful these are. What gorgeous journaling spots those are. Um, but if you reduce the size, this is 65%. These are all PDFs, so you can reduce the percentage of the size that you print them. Um, so this is 65%. Um, you could reduce it to you know, 50% and they're going to be half that size or even 35% possibly to make it into an actual postage stamp size. So um, there's so many different ways that you can use these printables in your projects. Um, so many different options. Um, and, and so just take a scroll through the premium membership site and just see what you can find. There are so many things to get inspired by. On this side, um, that's again another printable. There's one of the um, other uh, Rose journaling cards. So on that sheet, uh, and I don't think, actually, I might have it. Hold on a second here. Um, yeah. On, <clears throat> sorry about that. On that sheet, there are, you can see this is what I used. Um, on, on the, um, the printable, there's a variety of different sizes uh, of those uh, journaling cards. So again, just some great options. So these may be journaling spots, but you might use that as a tab. So um, that's where that has come from. Uh, and then here I have um, a little miniature glassine bag. Um, it's open at the back. Uh, and then I've just got a little bit of scrap of a lace there and another die cut floral die cut and then I just made this little tag um, and I've topped it with one of my um, die cut uh, tabs there that's just a, another another journaling spot uh, on this side I have clipped um, one of my um, floating uh, envelopes so on this one um, I've got a little um, uh, rub on here uh, and then I have you can see I've sewn on um, this sheer coffee dyed fabric and to the top I've added this definition of floral um, a little um, floral die cut and then a little bit of trim I've done a little bit of stenciling there and then I've made this tag and on the top I've added one of my tabs and just this really delicate um, butterfly image a little bit of stamping there and here, um, this was actually a heavily coffee dyed glassine bag that I've cut uh, into a pocket. More of my tape, um, another of the floral die cuts, and just a couple of journaling spots there. And um, this uh, is a vintage um, envelope that I have attached with this glassine bag. And you can see the tape that I've used to do that. And here I have clipped uh, another of the um, Rose postcards. I've made this tag from the index of the Edith Holden book. And then this is another printable, again, that you can resize. Uh, I thought that was a great spot to add lots of journaling and, and pictures to that. Um, this is a vintage piece that folds out. And then in the glassine bag, I have added this tag that I've made. I just collaged a little bit of fabric and paper and sewed around one of the, the images that you can find. A little bit of lace and another one of my tabs and a couple of rub-ons there. On this side, I have another little tag that I've made, another of the rose postcards, and then uh, just this tag and that's a little bit of scrap of lace and coffee dyed cheesecloth and a button there. And then just another, another one of those tabs. So that is my project for May. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed walking through this uh, little botanical journal with me. And I will see you back here next month with another project.